It's a good move to start with, and then and say, come back with an offer. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. What a way to start a video, am I right? <laughs> that actually happened right in front of me. Um, yeah, unbelievable. We'll watch it again. Uh, I'm just about pulling out of the services and there is a car that was in lane one who very kindly moved over into lane two. She moved into lane two so I could then merge onto the motorway. I was very grateful for that. Uh, so there I was in lane one, slowly building up my speed. And then all of a sudden, right next to the driver window, mind you, and I mean right next to the driver window, the lorry from lane three merged into lane two and took out the car, took it down the road, took it for a little ride. Very scary moment. I was honking my horn because obviously I could when you're in a lorry you can see quite a lot and I looked right as soon as it happened and I could see the lorry driver and it looked to me that the lorry driver was looking down somewhere in the middle of the truck it didn't look like he realized there was a car in front of him and that he was pushing it along I don't think he immediately realized I think it took a second or two um, and there was no braking no no brake lights or anything so I was like I was honking my horn to say look you've got mate pay attention like there's something happening but credit where credit is due that lorry driver got the car come to a nice controlled stop in lane one um, from lane three he actually pushed it all the way into lane one um, yeah credit where credit is due I know the initial I do believe it was the lorry driver's fault initially I think it was a lack of attention if I'm honest but um, the driver did show skill um, to get in the car come to a stop bless him but the lady, bless her, oh my god, I, I, I drove past into lane two and I could, I could see the lady, there were two female passengers in the car from what I can remember, and the lady, she, yeah, obviously they looked petrified, but she was looking up, because obviously where she is, the driver is up above her, she was looking up as if to say, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so yeah, my immediate thought was to pull over, I was like, I need, I need, I can't just drive past this, I gotta, I gotta help, so I was going to pull over, and then just as I was about to come to a stop, I didn't want to get in between the car and the other car, because another black car stopped as well. I didn't want to get in between the two cars, so I, got in, I drove in front of the other car, and I had my hazards on, and um, I was just about to come to a stop, and I looked in my mirror, and I could see that a black, unmarked police car had also stopped. He must have, or he or she, must have seen the accident happen as well, because they were there, literally, before I even come to a stop, just after it, they were there, so they must have seen it happen as well. Um, so in that split second I decided, well, there's a police officer on scene, um, I don't think I'm needed. So I have um, up, uploaded the footage um, to the police, uh, so if they need it, it's there. Um, but there's nothing I don't think I could do uh, to help any more than what I already could. So um, I believe the police officer would have also have seen the accident happen. So um, yeah, I think it's case shut. I, in my opinion, the lorry driver was at fault, in my opinion. Um, there's like this stigma where lorry drivers must stick up for each other and to some extent I agree but also if you messed up you messed up you just got to own it and uh, I, I think that lorry driver messed up in my opinion anyway what a way to start a video eh Whew, that was definitely a clickbait title as well to get you all to come and click so hello thank you my name is Luke hope you're having a good time a good day a good morning wherever it is for you right now welcome to the channel my name is Luke that was a very delayed intro um, if you don't know who I am, I drive a class one truck for a living and um, I also vlog on the side. Now, we are delivering to a farm. We've got to go down a single track lane. I don't think I've ever recorded coming down here before, so um, I thought I'd record it. Is that someone walking on the road? Yeah, they're walking on the road. Gonna have to move over, mate. So yeah, we're delivering to a farm. We've got a full load of timber on. I don't actually know what we're doing from here. Um, I do know that we probably won't be going to Tetbury, and I know that because I've got no net on the trailer. I've messaged the boss in, I've got no net, and he said no problem, it's not needed. So we might still go to Tetbury and load up pallets, but it shouldn't be bolt bags because the bolt bags need uh, need netting. I'm gonna go slow past this pedestrian. He didn't even look. Thank you. 
<laughs> he's not even, he didn't even look, he just pulled over. Pulled over on the side, didn't even look. Right, I'm gonna go over the train track. Does anyone else, when they go over a train track, always look both sides? I don't come to a stop, but I, I always look. Just in case, just in case there is a train coming. <laughs> These are the sort of roads where you'd get locals go, oh, you're not supposed to be down here. Uh, well, I am. I am because I have to be. Right, we're going to turn off here. We've got to go down a farm track. We've got to make a phone call. And, uh, oh, no, we don't. The gate's open, so we don't. Last time I come down here, I got a puncher on my tyre. And we're now doing a little bit of off-roading. This is very soft compared to what it normally is. Yes, I don't want to be... I don't want to be stationary on this stuff too long. Oh, we're spinning, we're spinning. It's a delicate balance of enough throttle to keep you going, but not too much to spin the back wheels out. We don't want to be coming to a stop on this anyway, not when we're fully loaded. That was very soft to what it normally is. Got no option but to run over this twig. There we go, ran it over. It's very muddy down here. It's, this is the worst I've ever seen it. It's all right now, but back there, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty muddy. So yeah, we're delivered to a farm, essentially. Uh, what they do is they tip one side. Um, we then have to move position so that they can tip the other side. Blind side reverse out and then drive back down this lane empty. Hello. I don't like how soft this is. I think you could very easily get stuck on this. We're going to put it in manual because uh, it keeps changing gear. I don't want it to. We don't want to be putting the front wheel on and on any of this stuff because we'll just sink straight away and then we will be stuck. Just trying to keep it at a high rev, get through all this stuff. Lovely. Now we'll be on the hard stuff. <laughs> Much better. Right, so we just pull up here on the left-hand side for now, they tip the right-hand side, then we drive round to the right, they tip the left, and we reverse back out, come back out that way. Job's a good one. We want to make sure we don't get too close to the left either, because um, we fall off this little bit here. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Right, so we just stop here for now, and uh, let them tip the back bit, and then we move backwards, and they do the front. We'll go from there. Right, let's get these straps off. Okay, here we are. So these are the load that we got on. And uh, yeah, this was the drop that I was talking about. We don't want to get too close to this drop. Um, otherwise we will uh, struggle getting back off. <laughs> I'll make sure I don't fall off as well. I just nearly did. Right, so we nearly finished taking the straps off, we've only got three more to go. Uh, let me know what you think about this cinematic mode. Basically, I'm recording on my phone. It's had positive and negative reviews from some people so far. I think mostly positive. Um, essentially, what it does is it blurs the background a little bit. Um, I think, personally, it looks nice, but I'd be interested to know what everyone else thinks. Like I said, very much at the moment is 55, 45 liking it at the moment. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway, that's us. All the straps are off. Let's put them away. Hopefully jubbly. Okay, all the straps off. Put the strap winder back. Trusty strap winder, wouldn't be without it. Lovely. Uh, I'm sure someone somewhere is probably thinking, oh, why aren't you wearing any harvest? There's no PPE. Dude, I'm on a farm. 
No one cares about PPE on a farm. <laughs> I mean, I could fall off that. I land on that. <laughs> it's just one of them places. Do you think farmers wear high vis when they jump into their tractors? Or do you think they're just wearing like overalls? <laughs> you don't wear PPE on farms. It's not a Travis Perkins site or a trained livery site, for example. Anyway, so what will happen now is I'll jump back in the truck. I'm done out here now. Um, they'll start taking them off from the back. Um, I will slowly move back as to be in line then with the entrance. Once this side is fully tipped, I will then drive in there. They tip the other side. I then reverse back out, blind side. And then we drive back off uh, down there where we come from. There's a the bag there. <laughs> like I said, I am done. I could sit back in the truck if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna stand outside for a little bit, stretch my legs. I'll jump in when I need to. And then, uh, and then I'll go back then. Well, I just found out where we're going from here. We are going to Tetbury, so I'm hoping it's all pallets because like I said earlier, we've got no net. I think I said earlier, we've got no net. So um, we can't have bolt bags because we can't net it. Um, I don't even know where the net is. I picked this trailer up yesterday. There was no net on it. And um, yeah, <laughs> don't know what to do there. So I'm hoping it's all pallets. It'd be good if it is all pallets. It'd be easier. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be lazy today. <laughs> right, that's one side tipped. Now we go back. Ah, one more left. There's actually one more left to come off. One more. <laughs> Start that again, I think. Right, we've got one more left to come off on this side. Lovely. Now we are going to drive round to the right hand side so they can tip the left hand side. We want to get as tight to the right as we can, but also not get stuck in this mud. Right, and then we're just going to go back a little bit. So they can uh, take it off on the left-hand side. That should do it. Lovely. Let's get this side tipped off now. Right. We are tipped both sides. I just need to go forward a little bit so I can get the right angle. Mid lift axle up. Now I do have people watching me do this reverse maneuver, which is nice of them. They always do watch you back. Um, Cause it is a blind side reverse, but also if you do mess it up, you're uh, you're going off that edge <laughs> that I showed you earlier. Let's go on back. Should be good, should be good, should be good. All good? Lovely, thank you for that. Cheers, mate. Cheers, bud. That sun's out. It's rather warm. I reckon if I roll up the sleeves, it's not quite take off hoodie weather. Well, it is actually take off hoodie weather, but I can't bother. <laughs> Long and short of it. 
Anyway, we should get out no problem. It's because we're a lot lighter, so we shouldn't sink as much. Um, and we shouldn't need quite as much power to get us moving, therefore making the wheels spin. So getting out should be okay. Assuming we don't have to stop. And I say that because there's a gate on the way in. We didn't ask for the stop on the way in because the gate was already open, but if it's shut now, we might have to stop. We won't know until we get round there. Normally what you do is you have to make someone, you have to call someone and they open it up for you. But um, you can see that they're doing a lot of tree cutting down here. And uh, it's obviously the diggers have been up and down here and they've been ripping up the tracks so, so I think that's why it's worse than normal. But it's not too bad, it's actually pretty decent now. Now that we're empty, it was a little bit sketchy earlier when we were loaded, just because we're heavier. But nothing too out of this world. Okay, let's get around this corner. Gates open as you can see. Lovely. Straight out of here. Yeah, this is this bit is really quite soft when you're fully loaded. Don't really want to get stopped on here, even whilst empty. Right, we're out. We're clear. We're clear. Right, are we clear left and right? Clear right, clear left. No one coming around the corner. Not only am I looking left, but I'm also looking over by the train track to see if I can see any vehicles coming, because if it was coming over, then if I just come out, there'd be nowhere for us to go. I need all of this road to get around this bend alone. No train coming, from what I can see. But I still like to look. I don't know why, I just like to look down either side of the train track. And there's nothing coming, so we shall go flat out down here. If a car come down now, um, I could maybe stop here and we could pass here. But after this, there's, there's nowhere really for us to pass unless one of us goes on the grass. I won't be going on the grass because I don't want to get stuck. <laughs> Vehicle coming from the right. Not slowing down by the looks of it, so we should be good. We're going to turn left out of here. And then we're going to crack on to Tetbury. I don't actually know where we're going yet from Tetbury. All I've been told is head back to Tetbury. And uh, I'll be given the reference in a bit. There's an ambulance coming from the right, so there's no point me pulling out. I'm going to just stop here for a sec. It's about 400, 500 yards up the road, but there's just no point pulling out. Unless, of course, it was coming down here. They just said thank you to me. They knew that I saw them all the way back there. Yeah, there's just, there's no point in pulling out. Might as well just wait. Anyway, we're gonna crack off, crack off? <laughs> we're gonna crack on to Tetbury. Uh, hopefully we find out where we're going from, uh, going to from there, I should say. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can have a nice drive. It's Thursday today. So far this week, I've been really pushed up against it for time, pushing to get to places on time. And uh, yeah, last well, yesterday I finished. So yeah, I'm hoping for a nice chill day today. I'm hoping, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, I will see you in Tetbury, see you in a bit. Yeah, so the change of plan is we're no longer going to Tetbury. We're actually on our way back to the yard. Uh, we're not finished for the day, it's 20 past 11. We've got to go to BMW Mini. Now, there's no filming allowed in BMW Mini, so I don't know what I'm going to be capturing for the rest of the day. Um, but I have been told to go back to the yard to grab some chains. So, um, yeah. Don't know what's going to be happening, what we're going to be collecting, but I have been told to get some chains. If I can try and get some footage, I will. But I don't know what I'm collecting. I don't know where I'm going. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what's going to happen from here, but obviously I'm not allowed to film in some places, so I've got to be careful. So next time you see me, hopefully we're showing what's on the trailer, or it might even be a different day, I don't know. Because um, that's currently where we are today, we don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. 
Right, I will be able to show you the load. We're just in the yard now, uh, getting some supplies. <laughs> so we've got the net now. We've got the net if needed. Um, we've got the chains. Chains are in here. And I've been told it's a judgment call. They might not actually be needed. I've also got posts that I can put in there if need be. And also while I'm here, I thought I'd uh, top up with our blue as well. So, because we're running low and we're on a night out tonight. So, uh, a bit of a supply run. Right, I'm gonna go get loaded. I can't show you the load when we're in there, but when I'm out, uh, I will show you. See you in a bit. Right, you join me a few days later. My editor is editing this video and there's a massive gap in this video because I simply wasn't allowed to, um, to film. By the way, before anyone asks, I'm sat in my passenger seat right now. I, I will include you. This is Matt. Matt's driving, Matt's driving my truck today. He's not new, I've just rescued him. You'll see in the next video. Anyway, <laughs> um, there's a massive gap in this video because I got last, the last clip you saw, I was in the yard explaining I was going to put some posts in or something. I then had to go over to another place and load up with some stuff, which I can't talk about. And then I had to go deliver to another place, which I can't film in. So it was a bit rubbish in that regard. So the next time you're going to see me is at the service station where I am parking up for the evening after I've just made that delivery. So there is like, in essence, a two hour loss in, uh, in, in time. Sorry about that. Hopefully you understand. Anyway, onwards with the video. So I was going to park outside an Amazon warehouse in Rugby. I parked there before, but there were loads of trucks there. And um, also quite noisy because there was, there was like dogs barking randomly. There was like security there. Um, I just passed Chorley Services, well, just about to pass Chorley Services. I thought, you know what? I'm actually going to park here. I feel like parking in service tonight. Now there is a fridge running right there. Some people would find that annoying. Don't bother me. I sleep with a uh, fan noise playing on my tablet and once the windows are up. It's quite quiet anyway. And once you've got your fan on as well, and uh, yeah, we'll hardly hear that. Anyway, we've got to sort out the trailer. We've got a lot of stuff to do. So just put some gloves on and I'll see you outside. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Now I had to be careful when reversing back because um, I didn't want to bend my bar on the back of this lot. <laughs> um, so I stopped just as I was about to hit it. But actually, if it was too low, I would have hit it. <laughs> Never mind, we're good. Um, so, we've got to take that net off. We've got to take out all the timbers. We've also got to take out all of the chains on the other side. Take out all the chains which are in there. Then we can put them timbers back in, running along the length of it. And then we can put everything back on again, so yeah. I was going to say lots to do, but it's not actually really lots to do, it's just a bit to do. Yeah, so those timbers on the top of the trailer, I've got to go right down on the bottom of here, so that's why we're taking all this out, so we can put the timber in. Right, saw the chains out, we'll use a bit of space on this side now. Now we've got to take out the rest of the timbers, so we put the long ones in. Rolling as 
and the reason I didn't do this earlier was because it's quite late, it's been five o'clock, and uh, obviously they want to get out. I was the last truck, so the sooner I can get weighed off and go, the better, really. And I could always do this now, but... Right, now we've put the long ones in. Well, I say done. We've got to put that net back on top. That's the timber in. One of them did come out slightly this side, that's fine. We'll push it back in. Like so. Close that door up. So now we've got to do, put them chains back in there, put them back in there, put the net back on the other side and put the ratchets and strap away. Okay, chains back in. Uh, I've just got to put the net on and then we'll be done. Oh, and put the strap away as well. Okay, it's the next day. We are loaded, not only are we loaded um, with these pallets uh, from BMI Redlands, but we're also at our delivery point. Wow, kind of. We're actually, we're actually queuing up outside. We're in a place uh, called Trumpets Lane and uh, you've got you to wait up here. You've got to phone them up and get permission to come on down because it's a bit tight down there. So I did make a phone call and uh, he said, yeah, five more minutes, mate. I'll give you a call in five minutes and you can come on in. That was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so pretty standard. Uh, I said to him before we hang up, I said, you got my number? Yes, yeah, I got your number. So I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and then we'll go on in. Get, I've left all the straps on because we're still out on a public road. Um, if we were right outside the gate, it might be a bit different, but we've still got to do a bit of driving. So uh, not much, but a little bit. So... I will leave the straps on for now and then we'll take them off once we're in there. And then from here, we've got to go to Tilbury Docks and get reloaded and then go back to the yard. That's what we've got to do for today. I'm also going to get the truck washed, hopefully, at Tilbury Docks because that means then I've not got to do it later. And um, I want to go home because I am not... I wouldn't say tired. I'm not tired, but um, I haven't had an awful lot of sleep. Last night, I said to you yesterday when I last saw you that I'm going to sleep well tonight, even though there's a fridge there. I did. Kind of, well, I didn't. <laughs> a fridge parked right next to me as well, and I thought maybe that was keeping me up, but it wasn't. I just, for some reason, I couldn't fall asleep. I kept nodding off for half an hour, 45 minutes, and then waking up, and I was awake again. I mean, I was still up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., um, and I just, yeah, I kept waking up and then going back to sleep, and then waking up and going back to sleep, and then, yeah, so I didn't get a great night's sleep. I'm relaxed. I've had enough sleep. I just wouldn't say it was a great night's sleep. So, I don't really want to be messing around in the yard later, washing a truck. So, if I can get it done at Tilbury, um, if that can save me half an hour later, 45 minutes, whatever, then jobs are good. And anyway, we're just waiting for a phone call and then we're going, we're going to go on in. Mm. I'm a little bit annoyed, to be honest with you. Um, so, you said five minutes. By the way, 
That's also annoying. There's a truck there. A van, I should say. Not letting anyone out. Anyway, that's not why I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed because I phoned them up and they said, yeah, five minutes and we'll let you in. Okay, no problem. I'm jumping back in the truck. It's, um, it's one of them places where it's very busy. I couldn't get in to begin with because there was a van parked right on the corner getting the breakfast. You know, fair enough, everyone, everyone likes to have breakfast, I get that. But literally the one place he could park where I couldn't get round. <laughs> It's like, it's like they do it on purpose sometimes. I'm there scrolling TikTok, I'm making a video too. No problem, just waiting for this phone call. 35 minutes later, I'm like, seriously, where's this phone call? So I phone them back. And even though I said to them, you got my number, yeah? He goes, oh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, you're joking. He goes, no, sorry, mate, I was having a customer, I forgot. It's like, you forgot I was out here. Yes. And then there was this whole fiasco of getting in because there's a van parked in the way. And now there's this fiasco where people can't get out because there's a demo van parked in the way. It's, uh, anyway, we shouldn't be too, here too long. We've got two forklift drivers on us. Straps are off. Corner boards are off. I'm hoping the next 10 minutes we'll be out of here. <sighs> we could have been away like half an hour earlier. Do you know what I mean? This is annoying. It's frustrating. Ugh. Anyway, from here we're going to Tilbury Dock. So I will see you probably in Tilbury. We've got a lorry now struggling to get around because I'm in the way. So everyone's in everyone's way. Okay, last pallet's coming off now, so I will see you in Tetbury. No, Tilbury. Got it wrong. I'll see you in Tilbury. Okay, we are in Tilbury docks and we are currently being loaded with paved stone as I speak. We're sort of strapping up as we're going, using corner boards when needed because some of the pallets are quite sharp. Um, yeah, not doing too bad. Wow. Well, it's gone past three o'clock now and it's a good three hours back so we're looking at six o'clock if we were to leave now so it's getting on a bit if i'm honest uh, but hopefully we'll be out of here in the next sort of 15 minutes i reckon i did get the truck washed so it is currently clean and tidy um however i suspect by the time we get back to the yard it'll be dirty again but it should still be cleaner than what it was i mean it was it was pretty dirty and uh, if I did that by myself later on tonight when I get back to the yard, um, you know, it'd be like half six, quarter to seven. At least now I could probably get back to the yard, maybe just give it a quick wipe down because it'll only get dirty, if anywhere, just on the side skirts more than anything. So give it a quick wipe when I get back to the yard later. We need add blue and uh, anyway, we'll go from there. But we're just gonna continue getting loaded. We're gonna continue strapping up. Actually, you might be done. I think he's done. So let's strap up. And then uh, we can get out of here and head back to the yard. It's a three hour drive. All right, back in the truck now. Take this off. Nice. Um, so yeah, going to the sat nav. <laughs> it's actually three hours and 20 minutes away. Back to the yard. Let's turn the engine on. Yeah, a bit of traffic on the M25, standard. Actually, Okay, I think I got toll roads turned off. That's what that is. Let's turn uh, route in, avoid toll roads off. That's what that is. That'll make things a bit quicker. That three hours and 20 minutes will go to three hours. No, nearly, just like that. Uh, either way, it's gonna be it's gonna be relatively late when we get back. So let's crack on. Uh, probably see you when we get back to the yard. See you in about three and a bit hours time. Right. I just stopped at memory services for some fuel. Um just met someone who watched my video. So if you're watching this, thank you very much. You're uh, you're in this truck here. You said you're going to Hereford. So I always forget because I, I get I get stopped a lot and I talk to them, you know, shake their hand, say hello, ask them how they are, normal chit chat. But I always forget to say, yeah, I'm filming today. What's your name? I'll give you a shout. So, I've, sorry, I forgot your name, but <laughs> um, thanks for watching. I'm gonna quickly do some paperwork. If I see you, I'll ask what your name is. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just doing some paperwork quickly because it's, well, it's quarter to seven at night. There's no one on the pumps. 
and I've got to do this over now or later anyway, so it's not going to lose me any time. So I thought I'd just do it now. Why not? And then when I get back to the yard, download my taco, put it with our blue. Yeah. Anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Been over a couple of days, this one. Do you know what? Sometimes I do this end of day recap and I can't remember what I've done. What did we do yesterday? We, uh, we did the BMW thing, didn't we? The heavy, the heavy load, which I couldn't do much filming of. Can't remember what I did before that. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed it nonetheless. Yeah, this is like, it's, well, what time is it? Stay safe. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.